If you like my content, please like and click on the subscribe button. Click on the drop down and select all to see regular updates. Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. I hope you all are watching IPL since this is IPL season and it's almost coming to an end. I thought of creating a series of questions related to IPL. Uh, and let's see how to solve those questions using SQL. So this is one of the earliest question, first question. So we have this, I, we, I hope you all know what is the, how the uh, scheduling logic works for IPL. So basically there are 10 teams, each team plays uh, 14 games and uh, there all the 10 teams are 10 teams are divided into two groups, group A and group B and each of the team in that group A plays two matches home and away uh, with all other teams inside that same group and uh, uh, one it's, it plays its corresponding group B opponent in both home and away and other opponents in the other group only once. So that means, so take uh, Mumbai Indians as an example. So Mumbai Indians is in group A. Uh, so Mumbai Indians plays um, uh, four matches, uh, I mean eight matches uh, in with, with group A other teams. So with KKR it plays two home and away. With Rajasthan it plays two home and away, with Delhi it plays two home and away, with Lucknow it plays two home and away. Also Mumbai Indians plays uh, since its opposite opponent is Chennai Super Kings because both of them are in the same line. So Mumbai Indians plays two home and away games with Chennai Super Kings and uh, all, with the other four teams say Sunrisers, RCB, Punjab and Gujarat it plays one match. So if you count all of them it, it becomes 14 matches. So similarly for Sunrisers if you take Sunrisers plays home and away games with all the four teams CSK, RCB, Punjab, Gujarat and also it plays home game, home and away games with KKR and uh, it plays four other matches with Mumbai, Rajasthan, uh, Delhi and Lucknow. So in that in now uh, uh, SRH I mean uh, now this um, uh, now in that case SRH uh, has four team has uh, 14 matches. So in that way the scheduling logic in IPL works. So now let's see uh, with that logic how to uh, get the matches. So since there are seven, we all know that there will be 70 matches in uh, IPL season. So let's get the list of all the 70 matches using this logic. So first thing, uh, so this is the uh, DML script. Uh, you'll have it in the description as usual. And uh, so select start from IPL groups. So first thing with the group A logic, let's uh, map. Uh, group A teams uh, with each other. So that means Mumbai Indians should play with all the other four teams twice. So select from IPL groups A cross join IPL groups B. So let's see what will, what happens when we run a cross join. So if we run this, uh, so if you see here. Uh, all the 14 all there are a lot of rows uh, around 25 rows are there and uh, so okay let's order by order by 1 comma 2 so if you order by this let's see for Delhi Capitals uh, it is playing five home matches uh, with these five teams and uh, um, also it is playing away games so Away games, let's, uh, let's take it later. For home games, if you see, it, it ideally should play only four. So we need to ignore this particular row because Delhi Capitals will not play with Delhi Capitals. So where A dot group A is not equal to B dot group A. And here it is A dot group A comma B dot group A. Okay. So if we run this, what are we getting? So we are getting 20, 20 matches in group A. So if we run together, so it's basically uh, each team, each team plays eight, uh, so eight matches uh, home and away. So eight into five is 40, but uh, we need to remain, do, remain re, 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 delete the duplicate. So it will be 20 matches. So Mumbai Indians plays um, eight matches, KKR plays eight and like that. So now a group A is settled. So now let's see if uh, 
where and uh, let's see if uh, a dot group a is equal to let's keep mumbai indians and see whether we are getting the correct output mumbai indians or b dot group a is equal to mumbai indians so now okay so i think we need to keep it in these brackets so now when when we run this let's see what we are getting so mumbai indians is getting eight matches so four home matches and four away matches okay so similarly with other teams also it will come so now we have handled group a uh, internally so same logic we have to handle for group group b as well union so same logic i'll write and uh, instead of group a i'll just keep it as group b group b and let's see if it's working so yeah again for group b you're getting 20 matches so csk is playing four matches and uh, four home matches and it will also play four away matches because uh, for against rcb punjab and gujarat sunrisers it will be four away matches so in this way uh, both uh, groups internally are now scheduled and next thing is uh, group a versus group b suppose if group a and group b are in the same line in the same row that means if mumbai and, and csk are in the same row that means they they also have to play both away and uh, home and away games so let's handle that as well union select a i mean group a comma group b from ipl groups union select group b comma group a from ipl groups so now if i run this what will happen uh, so delhi will play with mumbai and also if you see mumbai sorry chennai is playing with mumbai and also mumbai is playing with chennai and now if i do all this union now what now we are handling this scenario uh, four scenarios we are handling so same group uh, same gr uh, teams inside same group playing home and away matches that case is handled and the team uh, playing ha same uh, home and away with the uh, corresponding opponent in group b that is also handled now the next thing is it has to play a single match with other teams in the other group that means mumbai indians has to play uh, four matches uh, one each with sunrisers rcb punjab and gujarat so we need to see how to handle that so union and next thing is select from ipl groups a so now cross join ipl groups b where uh, i think again a dot group a is not equal to b dot group b same thing will work and here a dot group a comma b dot group b okay so here now if i run this what will happen let's see uh, order by one comma two so when we are doing this cross join now delhi is playing four matches again with csk uh, gujarat rcb and sunrisers so delhi uh, other than punjab kings it should play four matches so csk is playing one uh, delhi and sunrisers is playing one uh, delhi playing one with rcb and delhi is playing one with gujarat so again uh, 20 matches are generated so now if i run this together uh, let's see what we are getting so total we are getting 70 rows so um, so now let's see let's validate so first thing what we have done in this uh, simple uh, first logic we have handled how to match uh, create matches schedules for uh, teams within the same groups for group a and group b and next uh, this is um, scheduling home and away matches with the same with the group b with the other group opponent which are present in the same row and creating a single match for the other group opponents so now to validate this let's keep this in a cte with cte as so after we keep this in a cte let's see um, select star from cte so will this work 
it should not work this query should not run why because group a is multiplied so specified multiple times that means group a and group a so what i'll do for our purpose i'll keep this as home and this as away okay so now if i run this yeah if you see 70 rows 70 rows are getting created so 70 matches are there now what i'll do we'll i'll check for one one group so where home is equal to uh, say for let's uh, let's check for sunrises hyderabad so home is equal to sunrises hyderabad or away is equal to sunrises hyderabad so if we run this so if you see each team should be playing 14 matches right so sunrises first yeah, sunrises should is playing with uh, sunrises is playing with chennai super kings sunrise is playing with um, delhi capitals all the 14 matches are coming so let's validate the data so sunrise versus chennai super kings it should be two matches home and away uh, first row and 10th row it's matching sunrise and rcb should be two uh, home and away so this is ninth row and uh, 14th row 14th row sunrise and punjab kings so sunrise is playing uh, punjab kings twice 7th row and 13th row and sunrises and gujarat uh, is playing 3rd row and 11th row and now sunrises should play one home and away away match with kkr as well so sunrises is playing one um, home match which is row number 12 with kkr and row number 4 away with kkr and it should play with uh, uh, mumbai indians one match so mumbai indians 6th row with rajasthan it should play one match rajasthan 7th row I mean this uh, eighth row Rajasthan, Delhi, uh, which is uh, second row, and Lucknow. Lucknow is fifth row. So in this now the data is I mean the schedule logic is working because we have um, scheduled 14 matches for each team. So now let's see for other team CSK. Instead of Sunrisers, let's keep CSK. So in, now CSK. So yeah, again CSK. Four, uh, 14 matches are there, right? So again CSK, it should play uh, five home matches uh, with Mumbai Indians two uh, like this in the second row and tenth row, and again with Sunrisers uh, fifth row and uh, yeah and fourteenth row like this for all of the teams, uh, all the teams the matches created. So hope you all understood the logic and the way I have implemented. Um, so i'll be making a series of videos uh, based completely on ipl so this this series will run until the ipl ends so let's see what all scenarios we can cover and uh, and let's see what all you like so hope you like this video if you like this video please click on the like button uh, and click on the comment if you if you have a better solution you can always comment and uh, thank you have a nice day